unit. And what are the units? Individual households and firm. And what are the economic variables? Economic variables are product and factor prices. What does it explain? It explains prices of goods and services and prices of factor services, which is determined in different market, in different market and factor market. Define macroeconomics. What is macroeconomics? It is the functioning of the economy as a whole. It deals with economic problem faced by entire economy. It seeks to explain the behavior of various broad economic aggregate. What are they? Total output, total employment, general price level and economic growth. These are the example. What do you mean by demand? Basically demand has to have this elements. What are they? Willingness and ability to purchase at various possible prices during particular period of time. How does demand differ from desired? Now, as I asked you in the worksheet also, what is effective demand? Same thing. Effective demand require few qualities. What are they? Desire to acquire the commodity backed by the willingness to pay, the ability to pay. That means when the desire is backed by this, then only desire is called effective desire or effective demand. Distinguish between ex ante and ex post demand. Ex ante demand means amount of goods that consumer want to or are willing to buy. They haven't bought yet. Ex post refer to the amount of goods that the consumer actually purchased. That means it is already done. Joint demand, demand for two or more goods used as joint demand, like car and petrol. What is composite demand? Demand for goods have multiple uses, that is called composite. For example, steel. Steel has got various use. Steel can be used as the utensils, bus body or room cooler. What is derived demand? Demand for a commodity that arises of the demand for some other commodity for example cement stone and wood and why they require they are required because the use of house or to build price demand just see functional relationship between demand for a commodity and its price that means relationship between demand for commodity and its price is called price demand and normally it is inverse relationship as you know one increases other decreases that means price increases demand decreases normally that normally what is important what do you understand by income demand normally it's a functional relationship between the demand for a commodity and the income and normally it is what positive because when income increases demand normally increases now define substitute goods what are the substitute goods basically tea and coffee are the substitute good and what does it show it show that if the prices of one increases other demand will also increase. That means relationship between price of tea is positively related with the demand of coffee. So just see, satisfy the same demand. Huh? Next, what is complementary goods? Complementary goods means, uh, you know, gas and gas stove, car and petrol. Where the price of one good decreases the demand for other goods. That means they are inversely related. What is meant by cross demand? These two complementary and substitute together makes it cross demand. That means when the demand for one particular product is not affected by the change in the price of that commodity but by other commodity and that is called cross demand. Are you getting? Okay. What do you mean by normal goods? Normal goods are those goods where the demand for which increases with the increase in the income. That means general goods, which is increased by the increase in the income. Naturally, define of inferior goods. Inferior goods are a special kind of goods, which demand for demand falls with the increase in income. Okay, for example, demand of maize and bajra. These are the those which uh, demand falls. Now, Jiffin paradox is another kind of good. Jiffin paradox, which is also say exception of demand law where the inverse relationship between price and demand doesn't hold good. These are the goods which are also called inferior goods, but, but there is a difference, but there is a difference. What is the difference? Difference is 
that large num part of your income is spent on this kind of goods for example any kind of goods in india like uh, wheat or rice when the in uh, your real income increases that means your income upon price how can it increase if your price decreases then also this will increase when this real income increase people will go and purchase some superior goods okay this is what is very important they will purchase superior goods they will not purchase this goods that's why they say whenever price decreases people stop purchasing this kind of goods and this kind of goods is kind of inferior good but still there is some difference what is demand function the functional relationship between quantity demand and other factors these are all the determinant factors of individual demand you know this price of the commodity income of the consumer test so these are called the factors other than price price you know that factor other than price which affect the demand so what are they the other factors are prices of substitute goods income of the consumer test and preference and consumer expectation about the future price now what are the other example as you know what kind of commodity will be inversely relationship between income and demand basically inferior goods have inverse relationship between the income and demand saying that as the amount of consumption of increases other thing remaining same utility derived from the consumer from additional unit what it become decreases remember one glass of lemonade two glass of lemonade and third glass you have to puke it out so what is the assumption assumption is it is a cardinal utility another assumption is that commodity must be of same size color and all so what is law of equi marginal utility very very important law of equi marginal utility says that whatever utility uh, should be maximum and uh, consumer should maximize its total utility by using its income in such a way that the last unit of money that they spent on each commodity should have same marginal utility that means this this is the condition that whatever money you spent you should get the maximum remember for us we have this also m u m mu marginal utility of money is also there which is remain constant or you assume to be constant and this is for one commodity one commodity means mux upon mum equal to px read this and then for the two commodity this is the condition which i have given you so now indifference curve indifference curve tells you various combination of two goods which give the equal satisfaction to the consumer and now indifference map is set of indifference curve together is called indifference map it is also called scale of preference because one in, in the, uh, indifference curve showing the same level of satisfaction and the slope of indifference curve is called marginal rate of substitution uh, what is marginal rate of substitution at which the consumer is willing to substitute one goods for another without changing the level of satisfaction now remember i told you orange and apple this is marginal rate of substitution budget line is budget line or a price line shows what the graphical various combination which also gives and remember how to give budget line thing px into qx py into qy equal to y y is the income out here and p p x is the commodity y is the commodity or you can for your sake i'm making it a this is a and this is b so this is what is your this what is your budget line now let us start with the properties one property there are a lot of properties but i am concentrating on few properties the one properties is downward sloping why it is downward sloping because to consume more and more you need of one commodity you need to sacrifice other so you have to use less and less unit of other commodity indifference curve is convex because of diminishing marginal rate of substitution you know why as i described you earlier that more you consume one commodity you tend to miss that commodity that's why you don't want to sacrifice orange and apple always remember that now what are the assumption rationality that means consumer always want to attain higher possible uh, indifference curve 
that means they want to get more and more satisfaction diminishing marginal rate of substitution that means as you consume one unit of commodity for another you are sacrifices another that means you prepare less and less product to give up understood now for next is this is the condition mrs is what mrs is the slope of ic curve and px by py is the slope of budget line here from here so this is the condition for uh, all this time what equi marginal utility this is the condition for the cardinal utility and this is the condition for ordinal utility what is the different basic difference between just now which i said that um, utility analysis which is also called cardinal utility and indifference curve is ordinal utility basically the difference between cardinal and ordinal next is this at utility approach says that mum as i told you that mum is the marginal utility of money is constant in utility cases remember i told you this is constant but i see it is not constant what is price elasticity as you know percentage change in the quantity demanded with respect to the percentage quantity change in the uh, price elasticity is the same thing the responsiveness of quantity demand change with respect to income cross elasticity responsiveness of quantity change with respect to price of another commodity okay now next is uh, unrelated few goods are unrelated that's why like suppose tv sets so uh, is there any relationship between t and tv sets no that's why there is called unrelated two important factor affecting price elasticity of demand are first thing is availability of substitute if there are more substitute then def definitely it will be more elastic elastic means change change nature of the commodity if this necessary or luxury if it is necessary commodity it will be inelastic if it is luxurious commodity it will be elastic now see this is what this is elasticity this elasticity is zero because no change in demand this elasticity is maximum infinity because more change and this is generally it is <clears throat> one now uh, as i told you that uh, the point elasticity method lower uh, segment divided by upper segment last class only we discuss about it just check out and i have given you one question for, uh, from the worksheet also another thing for total utility or outlay method when total utility uh, total utility or total expenditure here it is outlay not utility outlay is increasing with the price decreases